guys, it's Froyo, and today I'm in the indoor wall for our craft, and we are going to be making an edible hamburger cookie. Before we get started, we're going to need to wash our hands because we'll be working with food. And I also wanted to let you know that all of the ingredients in your box have been prepared and put into bags following all BC COVID protocols. All right, let's get started. In your box, you will have a big tube of red icing. Um, to use this tube of icing, you'll have to take the cap off. There you go. You'll have to take the cap off and cut the edge of the icing um, bag before you use it. And then you will also get a bag with green shredded coconut in it. So this is just um, shredded coconut with green food coloring in it. And we've already done that for you. And then you will have a bag of sesame seeds. You don't need that many, so there's just a little bit in there. And then you will have, um, I think you'll have eight wafers to make four different hamburgers, but I just have two in here. And then you'll have one mint patty. And last, you have four different colors of Starbursts. So in this craft, you're actually going to be making a hot dog and a hamburger. So the Starburst will save until later to make the hot dogs, so I'm gonna put them in the box and just put them aside for later. Um, but all the other ingredients we're going to use for the hamburger. Okay, so first, you're gonna use these wafers as the butt, so you can take them out of the bag. Make sure you have a clean surface to work on when you're making this, because you're going to be eating it. I'm just gonna do this off with my bag. So, one of these, you can put one aside because you'll need it for the top, but I'm gonna use this as the bottom. And your icing is going to act as ketchup, but also as glue. So I'm gonna open that icing up. I'm just gonna put some icing onto the bottom of the cookie, just to glue our um, mint patty on. You don't actually need to be able to see it, so it doesn't need to be a ton, we'll add more later. Um, and then next you need to open your mint patty to put it on top of this. And this, as you probably guessed, is going to be our burger. So I'm going to put this on top and the icing will help it stick just like that. So we're gonna put lots of icing on. This is the actual ketchup part, so you can put a lot on so you can see it from the sides. There we go. Okay, then you're gonna put the coconut on top. Make sure you have enough for all of your um, burgers that you can make. There you go, so you put that on top to act as the shredded lettuce. And then, um, you're gonna put the top of your bun back on. If you wanna add some more icing so that it sticks really well, you can. You don't have to though, you can just balance it on top too. I'm just gonna add some more on there. Okay, and then squish the top on. There you go, and then the last little added touch is going to be some sesame seeds, these are just for decoration. And you can sprinkle them on top. And that is the whole hamburger, and then you can eat it. So we're going to make the hot dog now, and you need all four colors of Starburst. The yellow and the orange ones, you will use for the bun, and then the pink and the red ones will be for the hot dog and the ketchup. So I'm just gonna put these down for now. We don't need them yet. And you can unwrap your yellow and orange ones. Okay, now that you've got both of them, this step takes a while because you need to um, warm them up and then mix them together with your hands. So you just hold on to them and twist them around for a bit. You can push them onto different surfaces, um, but this will probably take a little while to make sure they're warm enough to mix all together, kind of like Play-Doh. All right, now that we've gotten it pretty flexible, um, I did have to push the um, Starburst together on hard surfaces like a table or something like that. So if you wanna try that at home, that'll probably help. Or if your hands are warmer than mine, it'll probably squish it a bit. Um, then you're going to need to squish it and make it really flat, kind of in a oval shape. I'm just gonna squish it in like that. 
So there's enough room to put our hot dog in the middle. Okay, now we're going to make the hot dog. And for this you need the whole pink Starburst and half of the red one. So I'm gonna open up both of them. Um, but I'm just going to take half of the red one for this and I'll leave the other half of the red one just out to the side. Okay, it's the whole pink one. So I have half of the red one. The other half I'll just leave over here because we'll use that after for the ketchup. And you're gonna do the same thing with the half of the red one and the whole pink one. You're gonna mix them together um, to make one color. Okay, I'm gonna go use my table again to mix them. Okay, now that I have a bit of a flexible piece of pink mix with a little bit of red, I'm gonna roll it into a long um, tube kind of snake. We won't need all of it for the hot dog, um, so we're just gonna eat this. We'll use this little piece again. So the rest of it, you'll have lots of excess, you don't need that for now. Um, but this is what's going to be your little hot dog, and you can put it in between your hot dog bun. Mine's a little misshapen. You guys can spend more time perfecting yours. But there's my hot dog and hot dog bun. And then at the end, I'm going to make some ketchup with this last little bit of red. So to make this ketchup squiggle on top of the hot dog, you'll need to make a really long, thin piece. So I'm just squishing it a bit to make it a little bit warmer. Um, but then we'll roll it out kind of like we did for the hot dog, just make it a lot skinnier. You need to squish it while you stretch it so it doesn't break, especially if your starter is still um, a little bit cold. by making it super skinny and super small. Now, to decorate your hot dog, we're gonna put this into a nice squiggle shape on top of it. Because these are sticky, I'm just gonna stick it into the pattern that I want it. Squiggle it back and forth, kinda like a zigzag. All right. And there you go, that's the finished hot dog with lots of ketchup. And you can eat this one too. Thanks for making these crafts with me and we will see you tomorrow. Bye!